Chris down another historic road. <laughs> uh, this is, we are on, of course, Highway 15, US 15, north of Oxford, and we are going to turn now onto, if you can see that sign, Old Highway 15. The original road uh, that ran through here before Car Lake was put in, or as the locals, well, especially the Southern Virginia locals, call it Bugs Island Lake. And we can see that this is, was, well, it is still a concrete road. They made things to last back then. So this road, who knows when it was put in? You know, the 40s, 50s? And here it is. I did notice that uh, when they did repave Highway 15 North a few years ago, uh, it was, there There was a concrete base to it. I think they did tear off a layer of asphalt. So yeah, this road was realigned when Car Lake was put in uh, to a little bit to the west makes a little bit more of a direct path to uh, Clarksville, Virginia. And as you can see, they didn't believe in shoulders back then. Of course, I this is what makes me think it was like from the 40s, possibly even the 30s. I don't know, you'll have to do some research on that and find out. So I think we're still in North Carolina. I think we'll see a, a state line marker up here, or we maybe we don't go far enough. I don't remember. Oh, here we are. Yeah, Mecklenburg County. So it's called Old South Soudan Road or Sudan Road. Looks like they did finally pave over this part. And so now this road just dead ends into Car Lake. And then if you look at a map, you can you can tell uh, you can tell where the road you know picks up again uh, on the north side of this finger of the lake and goes into doesn't quite make it into Clarksville because the lake cuts it off again. <coughs> but this is really you know I like I love going down roads like this. It's a little rainy, but it's a great day to film. Uh, usually when I try to do these film things in my car, uh, you know, the phone is up in the windshield and it gets really hot and it really impairs the performance of it. So it's really nice to come out on a day like this. Uh, so I don't get that jittery video result. But just to think, you know, before, you know, the lake was put in 1954. And so before 1954, this was the way people came. I mean, this is the way people drove between Oxford and Clarksville. It's just kind of neat to get, you know, a kind of a glimpse into, into the past, essentially. It's what, I, it's what I'm always interested in. Although I'm sure a lot of these houses weren't there. They don't look, most of them don't look very old. I mean, relatively speaking, they look like they're from the 60s and 70s don't see many really old, old houses. There's the state line road. It goes over to highway, the current Highway 15. There's a little gas station there. We always get gas there uh, on the way back from Clarksville. Well, not always, but you know, when we need it. Because gas is a lot cheaper in Virginia. That's about the only thing in Virginia that is cheaper than North Carolina. But gas is usually about 10 cents less a gallon, so it's always worth, you know, planning trips around, you know, being able to stop at a gas station there. So it looks like a lot of farmland up here, but not, not being used anymore. But it probably was a bunch of farmland up here. This would be, you know, when you're thinking about out-of-the-way places that are still somewhat convenient, you know, uh, like here, you're still only about 15 minutes from Clarksville. I don't know what you do for the internet. I don't even know if they even have phones out here. <laughs> 
I mean, I don't, I don't even see any electrical. <laughs> There's no, tel there's no telephone poles in a hall out here. Oh my goodness. But it's beautiful though, isn't it? Wow, look at this. That looks like an old railroad bed next to me. Going down, the yeah, I think it is. It probably was, maybe, I don't know. It just kind of looked like one there for a minute. I could be seeing things where there's nothing to see. Because there is a railroad that runs along the new alignment of, high, of Highway 15, so I don't know if they would have changed that or not. Most of the railroads around here disappeared. Like Clarksville is the southern part of a spur line, but that's about it. All the east-west lines were torn out, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Well, no, 50 years ago. So now we've actually reached the end of the road. Now it's actually kind of part of the Car Lake thing. I don't know if that's considered. I don't. I don't, I don't think the whole thing is considered a state park. It's just, I guess somebody must come down here every now and then. And, Cuts the brushes back a little bit, but not too much. I guess it's just so heavily forested, you know, it, nothing much grows. I mean, it grows, but it doesn't get big. You still see a faint trace of the lines in the road, but yeah, this it's going to be overgrown, and now the road's closed, so that's about it. I've been up in here before. I'm not going to walk all the way to the lake. It's only about another quarter mile or so. But yeah, you can still see the, a little bit of the line down the center. Probably the camera's probably not picking up. It's very, very faint. But anyway, that's it. It used to be. It looks like there used to be a couple trails. Oh, you can actually see the lake. Probably not through the camera, so yeah, it's not even a. Maybe you can see that between those two. Maybe all, yeah. Yeah, we came up here. <clears throat> my parents and I came up here, and my wife came up here, and we looked around one day. It was really neat. Then we went to the other side, and we couldn't see each end. Of course, we didn't know where we were looking. That that kind of doesn't help either. It's like somebody's taking some target practice at the road close. Alrighty, well, just another little excursion down what amounts to be a memory lane, right? Anyway, have any questions or comments, like and subscribe, or uh, do so in the section below. Like and subscribe, we appreciate it when you do. Again, this is Highway 15 north of Oxford, the old alignment that used to run, well, it still runs into Clarksville, but it used to run into Clarksville at a different location. So anyway, that's what we got for today. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.